All right, welcome. So I was requested to do a, re a uh, refreshed Nija build, uh, Nija Assault, and Nija uh, Bruiser. Nija everything is the topic of today. So um, let's go right into it. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to explain these items. I know you guys are looking at Stone and Gaia, like what's up with that? But I'm going to explain these and other alternatives and bruiser options and things like that. So when you first get Nija, whether you pick it or you can't buy, you know, assaults, and the you know the smite guys let you know just giving you knee job um you want to pick like how do you want to start your build process if you're going to go with straight crits or you're going to go a little bit more traditional with boots and yon's wrath as a starter so first decide that now if you go with the crit way that's how majority of people do it uh and by crit i mean deathbringer like rushing deathbringer as soon as you can and that's kind of it's kind of similar to other heavy crit assassins like Sir Kent and Hunbats. But the reason why you might want to rush uh, Deathbringer on um, Nija if you don't already is because of Nija's ultimate. Nija's ultimate, if you don't already, allows you to crit upon clicking at the correct times, and in turn doing a lot of damage. So if you get Deathbringer early, and you kind of combine that with your ultimate, you're gonna do a credible amount of damage early on if you can land your ultimate, which is always good. Uh, so if you want to go like that, you can. Um, if not, you know, you can go with the boots, Yon's Wrath. Uh, now, another good starter item for assassins in uh, an assault uh, is typically Yon's Wrath. That's a pretty good one to start with. I mean, you get a lot of utility out of this one item. You get the power, mana, penetration, and 25% cooldown reduction. Really great assassin starter item if you do not choose to go with Deathbringer. Because uh, I don't think, yeah, you cannot finish Deathbringer all in one shot. It's going to take some, you know, some time and some gold obviously building that up but once you do you can do like great damage now aside from assault and aside from conquest um you can also you know work the same you still probably want to pick up boots as your very first item so you can actually move around and have a little bit of penetration going but then as your second item you can rush straight to deathbringer or you can rush straight into malice Den deathbringer or rage deathbringer whatever crit items uh crit combo items you want uh, or you can skip that and go to you know your ref and then as your third item This is where you can have a little bit more fun as your third item. You can have like Shen size as your third item uh, Stone of Gaia, I was just going to kind of explain Stone of Gaia in case if you want to go a little bit more of a bruiser Nija uh, The way Stone of Gaia works it basically acts as almost your lifesteal item It combines with your passive really really well as a lot of people don't know uh, That Nija actually has a passive so if you don't, don't know what Nijal's passive is, it's called Immortal Spirit. Um, basically all successful basic attack hits increase his MP5 stacking, all stacks are lost on death. So land basic deck, you gain a stack, goes up to 50 stacks, and you get 0.5 HP5 per stack. And then in the end, you have a credible amount of HP5, especially with Stone and Guy. We have plus 74 um, HP5 in our final uh, flower, a flower form, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's pretty much your life still there. And also, of course, you gain a lot of magical protection from Sony Gaia. Now, if you don't want to mess with, you know, Nisha's passive and throw it out the window and you don't want to deal with the, uh, HP5, you're going to sell that and then pick up another bad boy for, you know, if you want life steal, Aussie, uh, even though that much attack speed is unnecessary, or you can go into, uh, Blood Forge, or if you like stacking items, get Death Gloves, kind of up to you. Now, the reason why I said that the attack speed is unnecessary for any jobs because once you pop your two uh, towards, you know, the later stages of the game when you have points into your two, you're getting up to 55% attack speed, which is a lot, and also your crit strike chance goes up for a nice six seconds at max rank. So, Kind of up to you. Now, if you don't go with the whole bruiser attitude for Nija, you know, you would have that Sona Gaia. And for your other items, you may pick up some of the following. Uh, it could be that one guy or girl with that frostbound hammer that's really annoying because as soon as you use your three, get in on somebody, start doing your basic attack combos, you're going to be able to slow them from up to 30%, or you can go with the tier two heavy hammer and slow them by 25%. Both work really well. So that way they can't really escape your grasp. Now, if you do use your one on enemy targets, if you don't know, you can slow them 
by 25%. So that's kind of like your slow in there, but if you want to have extra slows for whatever reason, you can go Frostbite Hammer, it gives you HP a little bit more tanky, or go into Round Shield up to Shifter Shield, and you're going to have an incredible amount of power as, so, as long as you're you know above half HP. You're going to have 60 physical power, have a little bit of protections. So with that much power combined with your two, when you pop your two, a lot of attack speed, a higher chance for critting, overall more damage. Or if you want to go for massive penetration, if you want to go, you know, just straight assassin, Tyan's Bane is your man or your girl there. Um, so moving along with the, the rest of the build, of course, is the Malice and Deathbringer combo or Rage, Deathbringer, whichever crit items you want. So let's go ahead and test some damages out on the Gold Fury since uh, she's a little bit more tanky. We have 230 power and 1.7 attack speed. Now hit 2, look at attack speed again, 2.3. And then let the uh, 1.5k crits begin. <laughs> so uh, that pretty much wraps up really quick. Um, I'll see you guys next time. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Peace.